I am Bunin Ma'am, your Mathematics teacher from PPS Lama Chod. In our previous lecture, we have completed chapter number 12, How Heavy, How Light. Today we are going to start new chapter, chapter number 13, Fields and Fences, part 1. And we will complete NCRT book questions from page number 149 to 152. So let's begin. So let us start with new chapter of today. Fields and Fences, chapter number 13, given in your book, page number 149. So now let us read together. Rehemoth is a farmer. He grows wheat in his field. What he grows? He grows wheat in his field. What is he saying? I need a fence around my field. So here you can see these are the fences. Fences are made up of wood, wire or metal to divide the field. How much wire should I buy? So he's wondering that how much wire should I buy? So before moving further, let me tell you all in this chapter, we will be learning all about perimeter and area. So first let us see what is a perimeter. The total length of the boundary of an object is known as its perimeter. The total length of the boundary is known as its perimeter. Next, it can also be defined as a length of the outline of a shape. Length of the outline of a shape. Now, the word perimeter has been derived from a Greek word peri which means around. Peri means around and metron means measure. It is a Greek word. Example, here you can see it is a square. It is four-sided figure. Square is a four-sided figure and it is two-dimensional shape. It has only length and breadth. So here you can see the sides are given 4 cm. So perimeter we can also say sum of all the sides. So four sides are given. Let us add these sides. 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 that is perimeter. Or there is a formula of finding out perimeter of a square. The formula is Number of sides into length of one side. How many number of sides are there in a square? 4. And what is the length of one side given? That is 4 cm. So 4 into 4 that is 16 cm. So we can say that perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into side. So now let us see perimeter of a rectangle. So rectangle is a four sided polygon. It is a 2D shape and all the angles are of 90 degree. So these 4 angles are of 90 degree. And another property is opposite sides of a rectangle are always equal. Opposite sides, so these are always equal. So now we have to find out the perimeter. As we know, perimeter means sum of all the sides. So let us add 5 plus 2 plus 5 plus 2 that is 14 centimeter. Or there is a shortcut that is perimeter of rectangle is equal to 2 into sum of adjacent sides. You just have to add the adjacent sides like 5 plus 2 that is 7. Why? Because opposite sides of a rectangle are always equal. So 5 plus 2 that is 7. First you will add that is 5 plus 2, 7. Then multiply with 2. 7 2s are 14. So answer is 14 centimeter. So we know that perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into side and perimeter of rectangle is equal to 2 into length plus breadth. So for smaller object, we use ruler to find out the length of the given object. It becomes very easier when any object is given. Take out your scale and measure the length. By that way, we can find out the length of the object. Now let us do the question here. Question number 1. Rehmat needs to find the length of the boundary of the field. Can you find it from this picture? So we have to find out length of the boundary from this picture given. So students, length of the boundary is the perimeter. As I said, length of the boundary means total length of the boundary of the object. So we just have to add all these sides. So let us find out the length. So length. of the boundary is equal to 9 meter plus 9 meter 
plus 15 meter plus 21 meter. So it is 54 meter. So the length of the boundary is 54 meter. Or you can say sum of all sides. As perimeter is sum of all sides. Question number 2. Rehman bought a roll of 70 meter wire for the same. Kalpat, can you give me that is left out with you? What Kalpat is saying, can you give me that is left out with you? I will use it for my fee. How much wire did Rehman give to Kalpat? So, students, total wire is how much? 70 meter. Total wire for the fence 70 meter. And how much wire is used? So right here, wire used for boundary. So for boundary, how much wire is being used? 54 meter. So how much wire is left with Rehmat Rao? So right here, total wire left with Rehmat. We will subtract 70 meter minus 54 meter. That is 16 meter. So how much wire did Rehmat give to Ganpur? Rehmat gave 16 meter wire to Ganpur. Now question 3, give it in your book, page number 150. Ganpur thanked Rehmat and started fencing his own field. But he needed to get more wire. He needed to get more wire. How long is the boundary of Ganpur's field? So this figure you can see in your book. First we will find out length of the boundary by adding all these sides. So right here, length. Of the boundary. So just add all the sides. 9 plus 9. 15 plus 15 plus 18. So 15, 15, 30. 9 plus 9, 18. Plus 18. So it is 30 meter plus 36 meter. That is 66 meter. So length of the boundary is 66 meter. So whose length of boundary it is? It is of Gunpat's field length of boundary is 66 meter. B bar, how much more wire will Gunpat need for his field? So we know that total length of the boundary of Gunpat's field is how much? 66 meter. If Rehman gave 16 meter wire to Ganpur, so how much need for more wire? We will subtract here 66 meter minus 16 meter. That is 50 meter. So therefore, 50 meter more wire will Ganpur need for his field. So now let us start with practice time given in your book page number 151. Here are the pictures of some more fields. Find out which one has the longest boundary. What is perimeter? It is length of the boundary or we can say length of the outline or the shape. You just have to add all these sides. What are the sides given? You simply have to add. So let us add them. 15 plus 15, 30. 30 plus 6, 36 plus 24, that is 60 meter. B bar 6 meter plus 3 meter, 9 meter, plus 6 meter, 15 meter, plus 6 meter, 21 meter, 21 plus 12, 21 plus 12, that is 33, plus 9, that is 42. So the boundary is 42 meter. Now C part, let us add this triangle sides, 12 plus 15, 27 Plus 9, that is 36. Now D bar, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How many sides it is? 6. And 6 side figure is hexagon. So let us add them. 9 plus 9, that is 18. 
15, 15, 30, 15, 15, 30, that is 16. So if you add, it is 78. So length of the boundary is 78 meter. Question 2, given in your book page number 152. Chandu's father is called young old man in his village. At 70 years of age, he is fully fit. And do you know his secret? He goes for a walk around the field every morning. Every day he takes four rounds of Chandu's field. How many rounds he takes? Four rounds of Chandu's field. What is the total distance he covers? So before finding out total distance he covers, let us find out total length of the boundary. So total length of the boundary will be 100 plus 100 plus 150 plus 150. So let us write here. Total length of the boundary is equal to 100 meter plus 150 meter plus 100 meter plus 150 meter. So let us add it is 500 meter. 100 plus 100, 200, 150 plus 150, 300, 300 plus 200, 500 meter. So now we have to find out total distance he covered. So total distance he covered 4 into 500, 4 into 500 meter that is 2000 meter. So right here 4 into 500 meter is equal to 2000 meter. So students, we know that 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter. So right here, 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter. So 2 kilometer will be 2 into 1000, that is 2000 meter. So here what will come? 2 kilometer. Question number 3, Kanpat's wife works in a tailor shop. She has to fix a lace around a tablecloth. So now she bought 100 meter roll of lace. A bar, look at the picture of tablecloth. So in your books you can see this picture of tablecloth. And tell how much lace is used for one tablecloth. So in this picture there is written 1 meter 50 centimeter. First let us convert this into centimeter. So we know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. So 1 meter 50 centimeter will be 100 centimeter plus 50 centimeter. That is 150 centimeter. So now let us find out lace used for one tablecloth. So right here 150 centimeter plus 150 centimeter plus 50 centimeter plus 50 centimeter. 150, 150, 300 plus 100 that is 400 centimeter. Now B bar, how much lace will be used in three such tablecloths? So students, we know that 4 centimeter is how much meter? 1 meter. As 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter, 4 meter will be 400 centimeters. So right here, 4 meter. So how much lace will be used in three such tablecloths? So we know that requirement of lace for one tablecloth is how much? 4 meters. So right here, requirement of lace for one tablecloth for one tablecloth is how much? 4 meter. And requirement of lace for three such tablecloths will be how much? It will be 4 into 3 that is 12 meter. So 12 meter of lace will be required for three such tablecloths. Now see part how much lace will be left in the roll. So total length of lace is how much? That is 100 meter. Total length of lace is total length of lace is 100 meter. 
and requirement of lace for three table cloth is how much? 12 meter. So right here, requirement of lace for three table cloth that is how much? 12 meter. So how much lace will be left? We will subtract. So right here, lace left in the roll after making three tablecloths what it will be 100 minus 12 that is 88 meter so how much lace will be left in the roll 88 meter of lace will be left in the roll after making three such tablecloths students that's all for today's class i hope you all understood green ma'am's class so chapter number 13, part 1, NCRD book questions from page number 149 to 152 we have completed. Practice all these questions at home. Now I'll continue in our next class. Do like, share and subscribe my channel. Take care. Bye-bye.